Welcome back to my channel guys, I'm Mariam. In today's video, I am going to show you this very easy Valentine's Day makeup tutorial plus hair tutorial. This look that you see here, a very vibrant pinkish sort of purple look. On the eyes, very voluminous, easy peasy hair that you can do in no time. Whether you are going out with your boo for Valentine's Day or whether you are hanging out with the girls for Valentine's Day, whatever floats your boat. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you like this look. I hope you make it yours. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. Hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already because it is important. Leave me your comments and questions down below. Let's get to this Valentine's Day easy peasy makeup and hair tutorial. Let's do this. So I'm obviously already wearing foundation on my face. My brows are somewhat done. Today's video is going to be quick and easy focusing on the eyes and lips and the details plus the hair. First thing that I'm gonna do is pick up my Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. I'm gonna scrape off a little bit of that product with this little brush here. Kind of like a detailing eyeliner brush. And I am gonna clean up my brow from the bottom, painting a very straight line and then curving it towards the tail end like that. I'm gonna drag that product down and I'm just gonna blend out the rest with my finger. Super easy, but I wanna give this eyebrow a nice sharp base. You'll see why later. By the way, you guys, I thought that cold that I had last week was gonna be like a three day flu. Nope, it's still lingering one week later. I still feel disconnected. I still feel like I constantly have to do this and pop out my ears. And I worked out with my trainer this morning. That was a hot ass mess. I am gonna pick up my new Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadow in the shade Wednesday and Froyo. Huda Beauty just came out with five brand new shades of the matte and metal liquid shadows. You remember my review on the original five. You can catch it right here. I was not crazy about that purple one, but this lavender one and this teal one and some of these other colors are pretty good. I am going to generously dot that all over my lid, kind of like that in a diagonal. And I'm going to take this not so clean brush. That's okay because I used this brush for this very shadow. I wore it yesterday to a baptism of my goddaughter. Eh. I posted just a couple of pictures of this look that I was wearing to the baptism. A lot of you guys liked it. So I thought I'd create a little Valentine's Day variation of that look. I'm just applying this all over my lid, kind of blending it out in the crease transition section, going all the way into my tear duct, my epicanthic fold. If you don't know what that is, I will link a little description down below. Okay, that looks nicely blended. Next, I'm gonna pick up this Lime Prime Venus XL2 palette. I said this on my Insta stories before. I don't really think these are very lime, crimey kind of colors. They're very subdued. They're very wearable. They're very pastel-y, but I like this vibe. I'm going to run with it. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this Stella eyeshadow right here. Just a little dusty rose, shimmery pink, and I'm going to apply that very gently right underneath the brow arch on top of that concealer that I applied and kind of blend down with this eyeshadow. I'm not going in too closely under the inner portion of the brow, just kind of staying right here and out. And just flicking it out and blending it with that border. Next, I'm gonna reach for this shade called Crown. This is a more iridescent sort of pink. I'm gonna plop that all over the movable part of my lid on top of that shadow, just for a very easy sort of sparkle. So that's gonna serve as my base for the next shadow. The other end of this matte and melted liquid shadow, Froyo. I'm gonna start dotting this Froyo just to the center of my lid using very feathery strokes. And once I like the consistency, I'm just gonna start blending that out with my finger. I'm gonna add a little bit more on top. Next, I'm gonna take this Flower Beauty Pop Fanatic Eye Pigment. Looks like this, comes in these really cute pop culture, comic book looking packaging. It's basically a cream shadow or cream pigment that sets like a powder. Remarkable. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this really bright magenta pink. This one is called Buzz. I'm gonna pick it up on this tiny little brush from Laura Mercier. And I'm gonna start intensifying that outer corner. That looks really cool. Oh my God. Coming through with the innovative products for 2019. Oh, this really does apply very, very easy. It blends easily. I'm pretty impressed. But I just wanna add a little bit of color and a little bit more dimension. So I'm gonna pick up the purple. This one is called Fizz. Same brush. And good. 
gonna add that right here just to the very outer portion using really small short little strokes kind of just feathering it out and adding dimension I may even take that little mixture that I just created with the pink and purple and just run it along my lower lash line I'm gonna set that just a bit with this dusty rose matte shade called in bloom just adding that on top I want to line my top lash line using this benefit roller liner eyeliner I like this one I used it in my previous video I believe really easy to use flexible wand everything you need from a little marker liner I noticed this eyeliner is acting just a little bit jagged in the center where the Huda Beauty Froyo shimmery liquid shadow was placed instead I'm gonna pick up my Urban Decay razor sharp liner which is a liquid liner not a felt tip you know what I'm just gonna apply this liner on top I'm gonna sharpen my lower lash line with a little bit of rock and coal iconic liquid eye pencil from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade amber moon blend it and set it I've been using covergirl exhibitionist waterproof mascara I don't know I just really really started to favor the waterproof formula for my eye shape again that epicanthic fold can be a little bit problematic because your mascara if it's not waterproof can easily get smudged in there and cause these really unflattering stains under your eyes I'm trying to avoid that at all costs especially on my Valentine's Day dinner date plus you know it might get a little romantic I might shed a tear if you want the focus to be on your eyes this is the trick that I always do my twiggies so I'm gonna paint just a couple of them in the areas where I feel like I could use a couple more lashes I'm gonna keep it kind of natural for lashes today so I'm gonna use this Eyelore Lux cameo lashes which look like half lashes to be honest but for my smaller eyes these are perfect these are just these nice little accents not too big not too small I'm gonna apply my duo glue I'm gonna set that to get tacky and I think I'm ready to apply this one I'm gonna plop it right to the center and I'm gonna tuck in the inner corner and then the outer corner boom bam so easy sometimes after the lashes dry depending on how they stick to my lash line I like to apply a little bit more liner just to kind of hide the band so next onto the lips I'm just gonna line my lips with this chestnut lip liner by Laura Mercier for my lippy today, I'm gonna to be using this pastel petal liquid lip by Pixie. Just gonna wait for this lip product to set, and after it sets, I'm gonna go over the perimeter one more time with my chestnut pencil. For my highlight today, I'm gonna to use my Pixie Gossamer Duo in Delicate Dew. I'm gonna use this Fenty brush that has a lot of cat hair on it to pick up a little bit of this shade, the darker one. And I'm just gonna sort of glaze my cheeks with it. So starting at the center, bring it down, bring it up, meeting with that brow bone highlight. Might seem like a lot of highlight, but I'm doing this for a reason. And the reason is this Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in What A Brat. Such a cute color, very similar to the Trophy Wife Highlighter, which I am a huge fan of. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that and I'm gonna add that hint of glisten just to the back of the cheekbone and on top of that pixie highlighter I'm just gonna add a hint of gloss to my lips with this really cute tart wine knot lip gloss and that's it for the makeup onto the hair the hair is actually my favorite part of this look I am going to get all of my tools and I will be right back this is what my hair looks like when it's half dry half wet kind of looks moppy not so sexy but we are going to fix that I'm gonna be using this one and a quarter inch rod from Numi I'm gonna turn it on so it can get nice and hot for me obviously you're gonna need some sort of paddle brush brush out your hair you may want a rat's tail comb like this or a teasing comb I think I'm just gonna use the hair extensions just to show you how it's done or how I do it but the last time I wore this hairstyle I didn't wear any hair extensions and it looked just as good as I would imagine it would look with hair extensions But this will just give me a little bit more volume with that I'm also gonna need some clips and some working hairspray. I have this one from rusk also very important I always like to put my outfit on before I start doing my hair I hate to pull sweater dresses or any types of dresses over my freshly done hair That's why I have my final outfit on right now I'm gonna separate a small section of hair back here at the nape of the neck and I'm gonna lift the rest of it up flipping it off and away from my hair and I'm gonna take a two weft hair extension brush these out as well and basically clip that into that part this thing is pretty hot I'm just gonna separate this part into two sections I am going to start twisting the hair around the barrel but backwards so I'm twisting it behind the barrel hold it here for a few seconds and then I'm just gonna release this curl I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side I'm gonna go behind the hair and then twist the hair around the barrel just like that so for each side that we're working on we want to 
want to be twisting the hair in the opposite direction so away from the face all right next i'm going to release some more hair just at the ear level and this time i'm going to add a three clip weft brush that out once again two sections all right releasing that curl boom so now I'm just gonna continue the same exact pattern all the way to the top of my head. So I'm gonna kind of skim through this. Once I get to the front and to the top of the head, I'm gonna come back with the commentary. Now that we've come to the top, I'm gonna throw this hair back and I'm gonna separate a section of hair on the side. I'm gonna clip the rest of the hair away. I'm gonna take a two clip weft and I'm gonna place that right here, very close to the part. Brushing out that hair together, separating into two sections and same exact movement just twisting it behind the barrel. I do the same thing on the other side, but because my mirror is right here in front of me, I am not gonna turn to you. You know how this part goes. I'm gonna flip this hair back to the front because I'm gonna be working on the back section, and I'm just gonna separate a small section of hair right underneath the crown, clip the rest of the hair away. I'm gonna use my final extension weft, the three clip piece. I'm gonna clip it in there, separating that into three sections and continuing the same curling pattern. Next, I'm gonna work on the crown of the hair. So I'm gonna start working on the back first, clipping away the rest. And this is gonna be the piece of hair that's going to lay on that top extension. I'll take this one section of hair and I'm gonna curl it as a single unit. Release that curl and taking my little rat's tail comb, tease the root of that ever so gently. But the reason why I'm doing that is because I actually wanna hide that weft of extensions. And I also wanna create just a little bit more volume up here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the sides, curl it in the same pattern and then kind of just release tease the root of that same thing on the other side and then the rest is easy peasy i'm not even gonna clip my hair I'm just gonna do section by section all the way around now i'm gonna bring all of this hair to the front gently separate it with my fingers i like to pull on these front sections so that they cover my forehead almost like a bang i'm gonna take my hairspray I like that these curls aren't too perfect, and I like the fact that there's a lot of volume, but it's not like a giant helmet head. So here's my final Valentine's Day makeup and hair look. Super duper easy. I know that if I can do this hair, you can definitely do this. I really like the eye makeup as well. Very vibrant, very pretty, just a little bit edgy the way that I like it. Perfect for a date, perfect for a Galentine's get together with your girlfriends, if you're anti-Valentine's that is. That said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you. Mm -mm, not gonna happen. Toothbrush. Whew. Ugh. Because on Wednesdays we wear lavender. I've been using. And it smells like kitty breath. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for being here for me. You guys are awesome and you know it. And while you're here, if you haven't done so already, subscribe and check out some of my other videos right there. Click on them, enjoy them. I love you guys and I will see you very, very soon. Mwah. Happy Valentine's.